Hi guys, and welcome to A Coffee Chat. I'm Dr. Boomer Brown with Doing Good at Work. And today we're gonna to continue our discussion around the seven habits of highly effective people in helping you to become more effective in your life, in your marriage, in your relationships, in your work relationships, whatever it is, you can become more effective. And the tool that we're choosing to use is the seven habits of highly effective people. The last time we talked a little bit about effectiveness and that in the model that Dr. Covey presents to us, we're moving from a state of dependence to a state of independence to a state of interdependence. And this being the highest level, we start out being very dependent upon others. And then we learn to express ourselves through our own independence and we focus on ourselves. But then the highest level of effectiveness is really when we are working together with others and it's us, interdependence. So the seven habits of which the six are identified, one, two, three, four, five, six, the circle makes seven, sharpening the saw, we'll add that later. But today I wanna to focus on habit number one right here. And that habit is be proactive. If I ask you to define being proactive, most people say taking initiative. Well, that's true, but in Dr. Covey's understanding, what he's trying to say to me and you so that we can be more effective is that we need to focus on our proactivity from being responsible. Proactivity means I'm responsible, I'm accountable, I accept, and I try to live in such a way that all the many things that concern me, I narrow them down and I focus on that which I'm most responsible for. He gives us two tools that helps us to understand how to be more proactive. One is the circle of influence. It starts with this circle. This is the circle of concerns. The circle of concerns. All the things in the world that concern me. Now, things that concern me, I may have no influence whatsoever over. So they're just concerns. And if I spend all my time here focusing on what concerns me, then I can't be very effective. He says that what we need to do is focus on the inner circle, which is the circle of influence. The circle of influence. Effective people divide or able to subdivide what concerns them into what they have influence over. That which they have influence over, they focus on more and they exercise their influence. So theoretically, they push out from their influence and if they do that over a period of time, their influence grows. They become more effective. Well, that's one way for us to look at it, to try to say, okay, I'm gonna be a responsible person, I'm gonna be proactive, and I'm gonna focus on the things that I have influence in. I'm aware of what concerns me, but I'm focusing on influence. And here's another thing he says, using this diagram down here, to become more effective, we understand that certain things, certain stimuli, they come into our lives and they cause us to react. And what he says is effective people understand that between stimuli and reaction, there's something that you can control, and effective people control this well. That's right here, this arrow that I'll draw right here. Okay, goes right in that slot. And what that is that's in between the stimuli and the reaction is your personal choice your personal choice you have a choice of how you react to any situation in summing this up he says that habit one is be proactive you're dependent you're working in the private inside you and you're learning to exercise your influence over that which you can control and you're choosing to respond to all the many things and because you're limiting your ability to respond and you're focusing tightly, you naturally become more effective. Well, that's a lot to think about in habit number one. But I invite you to do this. Come back next week to a coffee chat and I'll talk about 
habit number two. Thanks, and I'll see you next time on A Coffee Chat.